Hey, Kids for Truth Kids. I often say when you're here on Wednesday night for Kids for Truth, it is so good to see you. But as you know, with coronavirus, we still are not able to meet for Kids for Truth. I can't wait till the time when we can do that. But for right now, I want to send you another Wednesday night Kids for Truth video study. And as we do that, I want to ask you one question tonight. And the question is this, if God is so powerful and God is so big, why doesn't he destroy the coronavirus and just let us get back to life as normal? Now, that's a great question. In fact, my grandson, Alistair, called me up the other day. He's four years old, and he said, Grandpappy, I got a question. If God is so big, why doesn't he get rid of coronavirus? Now, that's a great question. Maybe you've thought that same thing, and maybe you've asked your mom and your dad about that. So tonight, let's try to see if we can maybe make some sense of that question and answer it. And then I want to show you something that I think will help you remember what we have learned tonight in this lesson. Well, first, let's start and remind ourselves that God really is big. The Bible says that he is almighty. He's called the almighty God. That means he is greater and bigger than anyone or anything else. And in the past, we've learned at Kids for Truth that God shows how powerful and big he is by creating everything in the world out of nothing. It was just his great power that made it happen. He spoke and he made stars and sun and the moon and the trees and the grass and the animals. And just think about it. He just said stars and boom, there were stars. And he said sun and the sun was made and animals and grass and everything. And then he created people. And that really shows that God is big and God is powerful. But not only did God, who is big and powerful, make all those things, God is also wise. Now, what that means is he is smarter than you and me. Now, think about that. We all know that somebody is always smarter than we are and maybe bigger than we are. Your mom and your dad are example. They are bigger than you, right? And they are smarter than you too, right? The answer is yes, they are smarter than me. And sometimes we don't see things that they think we should do or do want to do things they tell us to do because we don't see it and we don't understand. I mean, they'll tell us that we can't do something or they'll tell you you can't go somewhere. And you know what you say? Why? Why can't I? That doesn't make sense. But to them it makes sense because they are smarter than you. Now, I know you know a lot of things, right? I mean, you know your name, you know your birthday, you probably know your ABCs and your colors, you know your mom and your dad's names, you probably know your teacher's name at school. You may even know who the first president of the United States was. But do you know how to do a multiplication problem like this? Five times one, 10 times five, 8 times 9, 12 times 12, 89 by 42. Do you know how to do that? I mean, do you know who was the first person to walk on the moon? Do you know what's going to happen tomorrow? Do you know who invented, invented the TV and the first phone and the first computer? How about this one? Do you know when Jesus is going to come back? You see, there are things you might know, and yet your mom and dad know more. And yet I want you to know the Bible says that God is the God who knows everything. In Psalm 139 verses 1 through 4, which you can look it up at home with your mom and dad and you can read it. But in Psalm 139 verses 1 through 4, it says God knows everything about you. He knows when you sit down, when you stand up. He knows your thoughts, and he even knows what you're going to say before you even say it. So the question that we're thinking about, if God is so big and powerful, and he is, why doesn't he destroy the coronavirus? Well, he definitely could destroy it. He is powerful enough. But since God is smarter and wiser than us, and he knows what he's doing, even if we don't understand it, maybe we should say, I'm just going to trust that he is smarter than me, that he sees things more clear than I do. Maybe he sees something I don't see and I don't know. And I want to show you that and illustrate that to you tonight. Now, moms and dads, you can do this with your kids at home, and I'd encourage you to do it a little later on. All you need is a couple things. First of all, 
you're gonna need a coffee filter, one per child, a coffee filter like this. Then you're gonna need a bowl of water like this, just a clear bowl of water for each child. So one coffee filter and a bowl of water for each child. And you're gonna need a black felt marker, something like this. Now, not a permanent marker, but a magic marker. Something like this would really work for you. I got it out of the box and it says it was highly recommended by teachers, so it must be a good pen. So what I want you to note is that I'm gonna draw something on the coffee filter and then I want to show it to you then I want to show you something amazing that happens in just a moment so what I want to do is I want to take this little uh, coffee filter I have and I want to draw like a picture of our world and you can do the same thing with your coffee filter it's not hard to do you're just going to draw like a little sketch of what the, the world looks like and kind of a picture of that on this uh, little uh, coffee filter here okay so it'll look something like that right there right? it's just a coffee filter with sketched out picture of the world now when we look at this picture of the world from our view what we see is that it's just black and white just black and white but when you put this picture into the water something happens watch this can you see this like Different colors now are coming from this picture of the world. What looked like just black and white literally had more colors than just black in it. And in one sense, this is a good picture of what it means that God sees and knows everything. Maybe when we look at things and we think, why is God doing something? It all just seems so simple and black and white to us. But from God's perspective, he sees more to the picture than that. He has a lot of different things that might come out of that picture that we're looking at. Maybe God doesn't destroy the coronavirus because he knows it will maybe make us think more about him, more about heaven, more about eternity, more about stuff than just this world that we live in. Maybe it will help us to see we need to love each other better and serve each other better than we've ever done before. Maybe God will not destroy coronavirus because it'll help people see how much they need Jesus as their Savior. Whatever the reason, we know that God is wiser than all of us and we can trust him to use coronavirus in ways that he sees best. So hope that helps you tonight. I love you guys. Can't wait to see you again. Let me pray for you as we end up our study tonight. Lord, I thank you for each of the Kids for Truth children, and I thank you for their moms and their dads, and I thank you for this wonderful opportunity we have to remember that you are smarter than we are, to remember that actually you can see the picture much clearer and what you want to bring out of it than we can. I pray, Lord, that each of us, whether we're children, whether we're adults, that we'll learn to trust you through all of this. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you again soon. Have a great night.